I'm doing a little tester today. I've just got this Dr. Is it Dr. Phil's Dr. P. H. Mertens. Why am I saying Dr. Phil? That's a that's a bloody program, isn't it? Anyway, it's the bleed proof white. It's meant to be really good this for whitening out uh, lines. So in, in your colouring books. So what I've done, I've pulled all of my white gel pens or acrylic pens, acrylic paints, I've got ink, I've got all sorts here. Anyway, so let's move it all out of the way. And I've written it down on white paper, so I'm gonna do a swatch on the black and then go over the black pen, which this is a Pitts Artist pen, a Faber Castell one. And I thought it'd be interesting just to see what they're actually like because I definitely do have some favourites here and other things I wish that I'd not purchased, I will be honest. So the first ones that I've got, you might might hear noises in the background, I've got my doors open, it's quite warm today. So the Posca pens, I've pulled out two different sizes because sometimes these just don't want to work for me. So we'll shake them both, and both the first chance. And test on the black that should be okay so well it'll be rough it will be rough <laughs> the Fosca pen will go with the thicker nib which this nib is a uh, what does it say 5m camera's probably not going to focus but it does say 5m there and that's on the black paper I mean it's showing up yeah but I thought Posca pens were meant to be really, really pigmented. I'll just do the one Posca. Now these aren't meant to bleed, these pit artist pens, so we, we shall see, but it has gone on the tip of my pen there a little bit. We'll try the smaller nib, which is a 1M. And I do usually like this one better for this reason. You can see the difference already there. If I bring you in a little bit closer, yeah, you can see the difference. Maybe that big one is just running out a bit and I just need to get a new one, maybe. So, pull that out and then we'll go through this one as well. So it does cover it up to an extent. I don't know how close I want to be. I will bring you in closer though once it's all dry. And it might not have been the best pen to use this and I'm wondering whether I should restart. Uh, I am going to do, I'm going to switch over to a different pen. I think I've got a Copic one and put it on the opposite side. And it's just so I'm giving this a fur test. So I'll be right back. So that should be a lot more furry now because what I've done, I've used a Copic liner, which again, this is meant to be completely waterproof, water and Copic proof all on this side. And then this one is a, just a generic pen that I got just got with a little diary, so it's just a little cheapy pen. So I thought that that would be fairer. And I will just stick to the thinner one because I've got a funny feeling that that isn't the normal. So make sure that you can definitely see what I'm doing. Let's bring it closer together. I think that's as far as I'm going to be able to go making sure you can see. I want this to be as fur as possible. And it is covering it up nicely, don't get me wrong. And then on this side, this is just like a, norm, a normal uh, like roller pen and that side is bleeding so it's the culprit side is better. So that's the Posca side and then we've got the Signal Gel which is this one and this is one of my all-time favorites i ordered loads and loads of backup backups of these and they accidentally sent me this which i'm not too fond of but i've got that as a comparison as well so on the black first see how much more opaque it is on the black i still do love this gel and i always go back to it but I will say that sometimes when you're doing your lines like this or even when you're working in big circles it does tend to not run as smoothly as the Posca pen so I suppose you've just got to, you've got to have a little bit of patience with this sometimes and I have this issue as well with another one that we're going to be testing out 
the Arteza one. So it covers them lines nicely though, it you know it does the job. Um, I have had an issue with this when you colour in over the lines in a colouring book and you go over the top with certain pencils that it flakes off but again I think sometimes it depends on how much of um, the gel pen you're adding and what the paper is so next it's this one it's the hybrid one and we'll do the black first so it's just it looks more milky this to me and it's really I'm not getting a constant line it looks a bit streaky you see that was one of the reasons I didn't like it and even if I go the opposite direction I don't like this and it is making the waterproof Copic move yeah I, I really don't like these pens and I probably got about five of them so I hope my niece will like them pass them to her so yeah I really 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 don't like this one that particular brand so we're on to the Arteza and I've got all the different sizes I think there's only three sizes available and you can see how much of this I have actually used up so it's coming up right to the end I did really like this one it was close to the signal but I still get the streaks you see I really do have to work and then I'll have to let that dry and then it might flake over once it's dry I've just I've not got the patience for it I really really haven't if there's something out there that's going to make my life easier I will pick that so over the pens it is covering it you've just got to have a little bit of patience and this is the biggest one the 1.0 and I believe the other one the other two is it a six and an eight I think I think we've got jelly roll hello laptop we've got jelly roll just the white jelly roll which again I'm not too keen on this I bought this at the very very start of my colouring because I heard a lot of people hyping over it and I got it you can see that it's it's nearly full and I, I just didn't like it same issue I can't be rough with it like I can with the the signal or the Posca pen it's you can hear it, it, it it's really it's like a job <laughs> getting that to cover the lines and it's streaking them as well so yeah I, I don't like the jelly roll as well so on to the jelly roll glaze which I love the jelly roll glaze in black absolutely love that pen I've got so many backups of it and if I ever run out I will be really really upset well let's move you up so this should show up nice I've not even tested this, it's still got the little uh, protective thing on it, the piece of plastic. And I've not tested this myself yet, but this, oh, actually, this would be a good alternative to glossy accents. If you just wanted to add a little bit of something. If I just move it in the light, can you see there it's shining? So I don't think this is going to do much of a good job at covering the um, the line work but I don't think that's the point of this like I said it's the first time that I'm testing this yeah so you know what I'm going to give this a really big plus because I think this will be good for eyes and for giving a gloss to lips or even like on pieces of fruit or if you wanted to make it look like there was a, a water droplet colour this over the top to make it look shiner that's definitely an idea with that one and then we've got the all for one pen I don't know the brand of this Mol Molotov Molotov am I saying that right there. I might use this one in a little while so this is a, an acrylic paint pen again let's make sure wow too much came out <laughs> so this one I do remember that this one was good and I did I did tell a couple of people about this but I'm pumping down that I'm pressing down quite hard to get it activated but you can see you can get thin lines thick lines and you can completely I mean a lot of paint come out there then to be fair but you can completely cover lines up with this one I just keep it as a line so this is a good Posca pen alternative as well 
I will leave all of these linked in the description just in case you're interested. And this was another acrylic paint pen and it came in a quite a large set this one with some black ones. I'm not overly keen on the black. So I haven't used these in a little while, can you tell? Uh, so this acrylic paint pen, I'm just going to push it down just to make sure that it's activated. Yeah, this one, can you hear it? Very, very, very scratchy. So if you've got the patience to sit there and listen to that sound, which I have not, and it's not really doing a good job, I'll give it a couple more pumps. Make sure it's fur. It, it will cover the lines up, but it's going to take a couple of layers of that. Not like that one there. But I did put a lot of paint on that one. So we move on to the ones that I need my paint brushes. My good old trusty deco art. I hype on about the black in this. I absolutely love the black and I love the white as well for this reason. Just for adding highlights or for blanking out um line work don't think of my words then so let's just move around so i can move you up a little bit and that should be okay so on the black so depending what you want to cover up and what you want to achieve you might need a couple of layers of this but that to me is good enough for covering liner up as long as you let it dry Let's get a little bit more, put it over this one. Sometimes I do prefer using the paint because I honestly can't be bothered with the pen sitting there for a long time. So sometimes it is just easier to use a paint. But I really like that one, that's one of my favourite ways of doing it. So we've got the Winsor & Newton white ink which is this one. Make sure you give this a good good shake. Can I open it? Yes, I can. And make sure my brush is clean so there's none of that paint left over. Ooh, we've got a little bubble. Pop. Get a good amount of that. Just to be fair. See, it's just as pigmented as that acrylic paint. And then over the lines. So it's all dependent on you, the way that you want to do it. If you've got teeny tiny little lines that you want to do, this might take you a while and you'd have to have a really, really small paintbrush as well. But it's just dependent. But I think that really does do a good job. Now this is the one that I'm really, really interested in. Because like I said, it's brand new to me. And I was just curious, I'll be honest, I was just curious. Um, from what I can see, it's really, really thick, really thick. Let me get my paintbrush. Really, really thick. I can't believe how thick that is, actually. The camera's not going to... There we go. It's like... It's a little bit like mousse, almost. Yeah, like a chocolate mousse. Let's take some of that off, I don't want that much on. And then test it out on the black first. Oh well, I think that might be the, the white acrylic. Let's try over the writing. I mean over the writing there's not much difference. Maybe if I do another layer I will test with another layer. Um, but on that black, look at that. And that's the acrylic paint. I'm really, really pleasantly surprised about that, actually. Really pleasantly surprised. Let's try with another layer. It won't be dry yet. Yeah, well, it, it gets rid, rid of what you wanted to get rid of. That is fabulous. I'm really, really impressed with that. I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, is it paint then? Is it paint? Because it's really thick. I mean, if I go like that, there's going to be a couple of drips coming out because of uh, I've just put water. But it's not moving much. It is. It's like a mousse consistency. How strange. How strange. 
Well, that is all the white gel pens, uh, acrylic pens, inks, and whatever this is that I use on my colouring book pages. So there's my favourites and some that I don't like too much. The Posca pens, yep, the smaller size. I think I need to replace the bigger size. I think that's the issue that I'm having. My Signal gel pen, always been a favourite, probably will be for a long, long time. Uh, the, this bunch here is a bit scratchy. I have used a lot of that Arteza to be fair, so I have used most of it up. The One For All pen, I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with that, but it has totally too tight the lines. So, uh, if you wanted that liner still there, uh, you'd have to be careful how much you're putting down. Um, the acrylic paint, I still do like that because it's really good for colouring over the top of any sort of acrylic paint. I had to enter. But that, uh, the bleed proof one, I'm going to give that a good test in colouring boots and come back and let everyone know in the future how I got on. But, you know, so far, so good. But I just thought it'd be interesting to pull out all of these different supplies, just in case you were curious. Some of them, you don't have to buy now because you've seen how they react on different papers and, and what they actually do. So, please do give me a thumbs up if you th found this helpful and subscribe if you're new. I'm hoping, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, to reach 5,000 subscribers by Christmas. I, I really am. That's uh, my main goal at the minute, so we'll see what happens. But like I said, if you enjoyed it, please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye!